Idea number seven, and pay attention to this one because this is probably one of the most important ideas. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, the best place to build your tech career and have fun along the way. On Tuesdays, I upload makeup and lifestyle videos, and on Fridays, I upload technology and career-related content. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing with you 10 easy and fun programming project ideas for beginners. So maybe you're in school right now and you're looking to expand your computer science skills, or maybe you're just curious about learning how to code and you're wondering what projects you should try. In this video, I will discuss 10 easy, fun, beginner-friendly coding project ideas to get you started. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a comment for more technology and career-related content. Now with that, let's get started. When I was thinking about what to include in this video, three things were very important to me. One was that you could do these projects in the coding language of your choice. Two was that these projects could be used to add to your portfolio or your resume. And three were that these projects would allow you to learn something new. And if you don't know where you can practice coding, you can check out my video, Where to Start Learning How to Code, where I go through free, easy, online resources to help you get started so that you know how to write and run your code. The first project idea I have is Mad Libs. I personally played Mad Libs as a kid. You basically have a story written and then there are blanks for certain words and then you ask someone for a noun or an adjective or a verb and then you put in those words for the blanks and then you read the story and it can be funny, it can be crazy, it's really fun. So the first project idea would be to code uh, Mad Libs where you have sentences and then you accept user input and then that input gets placed in the story and then you can read the story back to yourself. So I think that would be a fun simple project to get you started and potentially have some laughs along the way. The second project idea I have is to implement a cipher. So this program would take text input as a string and then use a cipher to encrypt it. And so if you wanted to send a secret message to your best friend, you could use your program to do that. And I think this would be kind of fun because it almost teaches you a little bit about cybersecurity as well. So this could be a fun way if you and your other computer science friend wanted to send secret emails to each other or secret texts you could cipher them and then you could decipher them. Idea number three isn't the most revolutionary idea, but it's something that is very useful and also can help you understand different functions in computer science. And this idea is to build your own calculator. So this will help you learn how to write functions and implement them. And then later on, you could get fancy with your calculator. I know for me, one of my projects was to create a final grade calculator. So whenever I had my grade leading up to the final exam, I would create a calculator that would tell me the grade I would need on the final exam in order to get a specific grade in the course. So your calculator could have a similar function that is specific to you and can help you in your life. Project idea number four is to build a quiz game. This could be a really fun idea if you like to do trivia with your friends. You could build a quiz game around your favorite TV show, your favorite movie, your favorite book. You could build a quiz game around yourself if you wanna quiz your friends and see if they know you that well, something like that. This is really fun and it can bring your personal interest into computer science. Project idea number five is to build a game that implements randomization. So you could build a game that you can play tic-tac toe with. You could implement a game that you play rock, paper, scissors with. These two games will teach you how to use randomization so that if you, I don't know, have free time and you want to play tic-tac-toe with your computer, then that would work for you. The next idea I have is to build your favorite game. So maybe your favorite game is chess or checkers or Sudoku, or maybe your favorite game like me, one of my favorites is Connect Four. You can build a computer program to play with and interact with. And this is a step up from tic-tac-toe and rock, paper, scissors because these games typically have more logic to them, more possible moves. And so this is another great idea to get started. Idea number seven, and pay attention to this one because this is probably one of the most important ideas is to build your own personal website. Now this 
website could be a portfolio to keep track of your projects or your papers or school related activities it could be a personal website to showcase your photography skills if you have something like that it can be as simple or complicated as you like so having your own website can certainly help your professional development whether people want to go to your website to learn more about you or see your professional endeavors and your professional projects this is very helpful and also later on if you ever want to pursue a career in web development it'll be good to have a website to show people that you know how to code certain things and I love making websites. It's how I got started with coding. So I suggest that anyone should try to make a website, especially because you don't need to learn math at all to do websites. And I recently made a video on what math you should have as a computer science student or to be in a computer science field. And if you're still too intimidated with math to try computer science, know that web development is a very good avenue for you to try because you don't really have to use math for web development. Idea number eight is to build a to-do list app. This is certainly useful. I know I write to-do lists. My video on Tuesday was about how I make a weekly to-do list. To-do lists help me function and get things done, especially when I have lots of classes and appointments and meetings to keep track of. So you could write a to-do list app. You can make it maybe include a grocery list or if you wanted to make a workout to-do list for different workouts for your week. Maybe you wanna do a book reading to-do list so you can keep track of books that you want to read and when you should be getting through them all of that I think this is one of the most useful apps that you could try to make and it would be a rewarding project idea number nine is to make an expense tracking app this is especially important if you want to take control of your finances I know my goal is to live my dreams and also not worry about money so being able to track my expenses and monitor my spending monitor where my money is going whether it's to rent maybe it's to electricity, Wi-Fi, um, whatever it might be, utilities, your car, this can be really helpful to take control of your finances so that you can be more financially independent. So this idea of expense tracking, whether it's a mobile application or a web application, is definitely a useful project idea. And lastly, idea number 10 is to try creating a mobile application. You can go online for free and download Android Studio if you wanna make an Android app, or you can download Swift if you wanna make an iOS app. These are really good tools to learn and to build Build your resume because if you have a phone right now you probably are using apps that exist and so it's kind of cool to learn the behind the scenes of what goes into these apps and I think that they're not gonna go away I don't really think phones are gonna go away so mobile application is a good area to explore and if you're wondering oh what idea should I use for my mobile app you can use any of the previous nine ideas I've said and try to implement them into a mobile application so that concludes my 10 easy and fun program project ideas for beginners. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week I will be doing a coding tutorial, so I may use one of these project ideas. Stay tuned for that. I love getting your inputs and one of you guys suggested that I do a coding tutorial. So I listen to you and I want to do things that you want to see. So keep that in mind. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. And if you're new here and you're wondering what topics I've already covered, you can check out my computer science and college advice playlist. I love adding to that category and making more career related content for you guys. And on Tuesdays, I do makeup and lifestyle videos. So I will see you on Tuesday with a makeup video and then on Friday with a coding tutorial. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon.